It's been a busy past couple months in the credit card space. We've seen sign-up bonuses across the board increase, um, whether it's the new Southwest 50,000 mile offers, or even uh, when point offers don't go up, the new Barclay card arrival uh, plus card now has chip and pin and a bunch of other new enhancements. So across the board, we've seen a lot of improvements in the credit card space. Uh, there's no one right card for everyone, but uh, TPG reader Ignacio tweeted me, which one would you choose, Arrival World Plus Elite, Arrival Plus World Elite, 40,000 points, $89 waived the first year, or Chase Southwest, 50,000 point fee, $99 fee, not waived, what's better? Well, off the bat, I mean, it really depends. If you fly Southwest, um, the Southwest card can be an incredible value, over $750 in one to get away fares, even taking away that $99 annual fee you're looking at 650-ish dollars plus those 50,000 points count towards the valuable companion pass which you get when you accrue in one calendar year 110,000 companion pass qualifying miles. So it's basically half the companion pass if you can wing it and get another card or spend and get up to 110,000 qualifying points. The, the value of that sign up bonus skyrockets because that's that companion pass is incredible. You know, the Barclay card arrival plus the 40,000 points can be redeemed for travel at one cent a piece and you get a 10% rebate. So you're looking at $440 in travel uh, reimbursement. So the great thing about the arrival plus points is you can book whatever airfare you want. The way that card works is you actually go online and buy whatever travel you want. You don't actually have to go and redeem through a portal or jump through any hoops. You simply buy whatever and then go log into your account and any charge over $25, that's a travel charge. Um, you can get reimbursed. So basically, just use your points as cash to wipe it off of your statement. So, um, you know, while the Arrival Plus offer isn't as lucrative point wise, it's still really valuable. I mean, $440 with no annual fee the first year, that's a pretty good value to me. Plus, they just added chip and pin capability. I just used it in Europe like a charm at, uh, you know, train stations and a lot of those machines that require a pin. So, uh, I have, uh, I think both are solid offers are from different banks, so you can get both. Um, but I think the bigger question is if you're going to go Barclays, they also have a couple of other amazing cards, the U.S. Airways card, Hawaiian Airlines. Just make sure that, uh, you know, they don't generally allow you to have as many cards as Chase. So you might want to be a little bit picky there, but I think both of those cards are solid. But if you're a Southwest flyer, I would probably lean towards the Southwest card simply uh, just looking at the pure value perspective. Any other questions, tweet me at The Points Guy or like us on Facebook.com backslash The Points Guy.